Hi, so this is day two of the Ridgewood pilot experiment and a lot of people have been asking me what exactly are you doing with these 25 kids for five and a half hours a day. Um, and I spent maybe two and a half hours on Friday explaining it to the kids so hopefully I can I can sort of pare it down a little bit. There's three main elements of the pilot program. Um, element number one is the content classes that they're taking. Uh, and that's going to be different for every student. Some students are looking to go into business and they want to take some math and finance classes along with their other English and PE and art classes that they need to take. So their schedule is customized. Um, some students are looking to become vets uh, or go into the medical field and they want to start pursuing uh, electives along that route to make sure that that's what they want to do before they go uh, and follow that in college um, and perhaps make shifts if necessary. So for each of the 25 students their senior year schedule is customized within the scope of edgenuity and we're going to be meeting this week with I'm going to be meeting with each student and talking about within that course uh, how it's going to be personalized. Um, that's everything from content. Now, some of the content they don't get a say over because right, we have the basics. Um, but there's additional elements of a class that you can always pick two out of these four units. Um, we're going to discuss how they want to be assessed, whether it's through the Edgenuity assessment software or most of the time we're going to be doing skill-based, project-based assessments uh, that become personalized topic-wise to what they want to do. Uh, so there's a lot that goes into the pure content aspect of this and that's where a bulk of the work is gonna is gonna come from. The second part is a class that everyone's taking called College and Career Pathways. In that class um, students will start by taking making a learner profile um, from ownit, ownitu.com and that will generate a lot of their interests uh, will generate a list that shows their interests and career pathways much like uh, they've done in the past but this is particularly detailed and, and well organized um, they'll reflect upon that and start researching what a uh, college career in that field would uh, would entail they might find that, wow, I wanted to do this, but there's a heck of a lot of math. I've got to take eight math classes in college in order to achieve this major. And then begin to reevaluate based on that, because some of them simply don't understand what all goes into a major. So start researching that. Um, they'll start um, researching the um, classes that they'll take. And then they'll start looking at colleges that they can get into based on their ACT scores, their GPA, and uh, other factors, right? Money, location, those types of things. They're going to begin the college search and go on with applications and so on. Um, in addition, one of the main reasons that people, some of the people joined this program was they want to get out in the world and try these professions. They want to say a student wants to be, thinks they want to be a pharmacist. They're very good at chemistry, they want to help people, um, but they've never been in a pharmacy except to pick up their medication. Um, we're going to work very hard uh, to get each student internships based on the careers that they want to pursue. And that's going to tell them one of two things. Either A, uh, yes, this is definitely something that I want to pursue and I'm in the right place and that will give them that that confidence to move forward or B, I did not think that this is what this was all about and they can shift gears and it's going to be really helpful for them to be able to do that in high school rather than uh, years down the road in college or post-college. Um, and third is a course we have not named yet. Um, it is going to focus on uh, skills. It's going to be a skill-based course. Um, the skills that you need to function in the world. Uh, not life skills necessarily, some call them soft skills. Um, abilities to communicate well with others, to 
be able to write business letters, to talk on the telephone, to interact with adults, to take responsibility for problem solving, all of those things. There's, there's two aspects to that course that is yet to be named. We will name that today. Um, within the school, uh, they're going to be responsible for several things. They're going to be maintaining a social media presence. So there'll be a social media team constantly updating uh, the school, uh, the world on what we're doing here. Um, there will be a team that is assigned to transform our learning environment from what has been deemed useful to them to what they actually deem useful and they'll be logging their progress there. Um, there'll be a team that is set on just marketing and advertising. They're going to be the ones who are going to name us and brand us and begin to develop an identity for the program. And then, you know, through advertising and marketing, they're going to share what we're doing with the school, with the feeder schools. Um, they're going to talk to the kids, they'll talk to the teachers. Part of these videos that I'm making um, will be the advertising for it as well. Um, there'll be other teams that will update the school board and so on and so forth. Um, and finally, the second part of that particular class is a culminating project, a culminating uh, experience that will bring all of the skills they've learned throughout their lives together. Um, their hope, their dream, my hope, their, my dream is to go someplace in the world that needs 25 people to work on something. And who knows what that might be, go to another country and help put together something they need. Um, and the coordination that goes along with that, volunteering our time someplace should be a, hopefully a nice culminating project and shows all the skills that they've learned uh, over the course of their high school career. Uh, so that's what we're going to accomplish over the course of this year, um, at least as it stands on day two, uh, August 15th, 7.20 in the morning. Um, that's the goals. Uh, the goals might change. Um, they probably will change. We're going to have ups and downs, but at least uh, at the start, that's our plan. So stay tuned, and I hope that gives you a little bit of insight as to what we had hoped to accomplish. Thanks.